Alright, what is going on my friend? Welcome to the video. It's Brando Linick here and I really appreciate you for coming by this conversation. It's going to be, I don't know how long, <laughs> but not that long. It'll be less than four minutes and I just want to pass on some critical information about, you know, really how to build a business and whether that's a ship cargo business, that's just what came up off the top of my mind here, uh, or, you know, a clothing outlet or a, a boutique, whether it's, uh, you know, online business, whatever it is, if you're looking to start a business because you want to be your own boss, you want to take control of your income, if that's really what you're looking for at the end of the day, best tip I would give you, learn how to strategically map out your business. All right, a lot of people I've seen who've started really profitable business models versus people who've started businesses and make really like no money whatsoever is a fine difference between the two. The people who actually made money, all right, were people who mapped out their business, looked at the overhead, looked at the maintenance required to maintain the business on a daily, weekly basis, and you know took it to a whole nother level because they're able to map that out and get an understanding. People who didn't completely overlook that just got started because they thought it was a good idea, they thought it was cool, it was one of their passions. And one of the misconceptions is, is a lot of people go and get started in businesses because they're like passionate about it. It's okay to have a passion, but not everyone who has a passion makes it. You know, lots of people who have passions for basketball, but you never see them really become an NBA star, okay? There's a fine difference in business between passions and profits and margins. And if you want to build a business, you need to learn how to map out your business in a way that works for you. So analyzing your overhead, okay? And like I said, whether this is like a ship cargo container business, a clothing business, a boutique business, an online business, you need to map out your overhead, look at what you're putting in, not just money-wise to start it, but look at what's needed to re what's needed and required to maintain it and keep it afloat above water on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. It might be a couple thousand dollars. It might be a couple hundred thousand dollars per month. All right, depending on the type of business model you're looking at. But from that point on, once you have that, which is essential for starting a business, you can then look at projections on getting a return on your investment, looking at how long it's going to take you to actually make some money. All right to actually get an investment returned, all right? So it's very critical, and I figured I'd just share this with you without trying to confuse you or overwhelm you, so I hope that did make sense. And uh, I'll just leave you with this last tip. If you are looking at starting a business because you wanna create leverage, you wanna be your own boss, you wanna make your own money, if that is what you're looking for to take control of your income in life, I would advise you, before you consider taking a traditional road where you're dealing with supplies, equipment, employees, all right, where you're dealing with profit margin cuts, all right, I like to call it, where your profit is actually getting cut down because you have that overhead, best tip I would give you, actually learn how to leverage technology, learn how to leverage the internet to build a business if you're looking at it because you want to be your own boss and you want to be able to create leverage and time freedom. And my story with that actually goes back about a year ago when I transitioned from a traditional business and came across a person who was building a business online and started to model and copy them. You know, they're making ridiculous, ludicrous amounts of money, more money every month than I was making a whole year without doing anything technical, without dealing with shipping and handling, inventory, or, you know, being on the computer all day long. And because they weren't doing that, not telling you that you're going to get the same results, just sharing with you what's possible, I was able to model and copy them in less than 30 days, create a full-time income business for myself working part-time. And in that part-time, all right, I will be completely honest with you and open, I worked my butt off. I worked my butt off. I learned a lot of stuff and I worked my butt off. And you'd have to do that in any business. So because you'd have to do that in any business, regardless, uh, best tip I would give you if you're looking to create leverage and a highly profitable business model where you can afford what you're passionate about but have the time freedom to enjoy what you're passionate about, learn to build a business online if that's really what you're looking for. Save you a lifelong time of blood, sweat, and tears. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been fun talking with you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one, seeing your success story. And uh, to end off, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to build a business on the internet, if you're willing to work, willing to learn, connect with me on my site. Check it out. It's 123marketingtips.com. I'll put a link in the description, and I'll see you there. Take care.